Okay, here we're going to um, uh, cut out the bat and so first you need to hoop up some tear away which I've done or some other stabiliser, a sticky stabiliser would be good I just don't happen to have any at the moment so I've put some ordinary tear away and I'm going to put some um, double sided tape just to hold my um, foam sheet which I'm going to cut my bat out of so this is the foam sheet here and um, just so that it stays in place in the hoop I'm going to use some double sided tape and I'm just going to put a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom so that I can cut that out and the needles aren't going to touch that the bat is going to embroider out here you don't want your needles ever touching double sided tape it will gum them up straight away so if you do use double sided tape be very careful that you make sure it's outside the area where the needle is going to penetrate now I'm just going to remove the um, backing from the double sided tape so I'll just pause the video while I do that okay so now I've removed the backing from the double sided tape I'm just going to place my bit of foam in the hoop and press it down there so it stays okay so the next part is to organize your needles now if you have the Bonina sewing machine you'll have your needle um, carousel that you attach where you would normally put your needle um, and the positions on your chart that you've printed out from the software show the first needle goes in first so you would dial up needle one on your um, carousel and then once that's cut out you'll dial up needle two it's the same needle but you'll dial to position two and then position three and position four but if you don't have a Benina, you might have um, the either the FAF or the Husqvarna needle kit. Now these numbers on the needle kit are different to the numbering system on your Benina carousel needle and so therefore different to the, what the software will print out. So what you need to do is just change, um, lay out your order of needles um, for the FAF kit and I'm just going to go through now and tell you the corresponding needles so needle uh, position one for the banana you would use needle number four position two for the banana use needle number one position three for the needle uh, for the banana use needle number two from the faf and position four for the banana use needle number three from the faf so basically subtract one from the position on the banana and that'll give you the needle number for your faf excepting for position one which is needle number four so once you've organized that to make sure you're going to be cutting with the right needles it's just a matter of moving over to the sewing machine and starting to cut so I've inserted because I'm using the faf needles I've inserted needle number four which is position number one on your banana and I'm just going to press my start button well, of course it's got to detect the hoop doesn't it and I've just got to confirm my hoop there and we're ready to go oh my feed dog okay now my machine has stopped for me to trim the thread which I don't have so I'm just going to press again and I forgot to put my bobbin case in so I'm going to have a few stops as we go along because I've forgotten to turn my sensors off too you need to at least turn your upper thread sensor off um, and probably your bobbin sensor as well if you can. Um, if you can't turn your upper thread sensor off on your machine then this tool won't work because your machine will be continuously stopping to um, um, tell you that you have no thread in your upper thread. So um, 
make sure you do turn that off. Now that's finished with needle position number one for the banana or needle number four for the faff and it's asking me to change for my next colour change on my machine but in fact that's actually the needle change. So I'm just going to reach in here and remove that needle and come in with needle number one or position number two on your banana. Make sure you push it right up and then just start again. And it's the same procedure right through for the four positions or the four needles. So I'll just stop the video now while I finish the bat. Okay, so now I've cut right round the bat. Now I didn't put my embroidery foot on because I wanted you to be able to see more clearly, but uh, normally you would do this with your embroidery foot on. So my bat started to lift out a little bit soon. Um, but that's okay, it's all cut out beautifully. So if I can just lift it out now that all the four needles are finished. And I just need to poke out his little eyes as well. Um, so I hope you can see that clearly there. So I'll just push out those last little bits of foam out of his eyes and I have now got a foam bat cut out. So the next step would be to stick it on my um, piece of wood to make it into a stamp. Okay, so now I've glued my little bat onto um, a piece of wood and just used tiger grip and just an off cut of wood that my husband had in his workshop and I have, I don't have a stamp pad handy so I've just got some black acrylic paint and I'm just painting it onto the stamp. Um, you may need to add a little bit of water, it dries out fairly quickly acrylic paint in the heat and we're coming into spring now so the house is warming up a bit you'd be coming into autumn over there in the United States most of you okay and then just turn it over and press it down and there you have your bat so I hope you have fun doing that project and have fun with the kids playing with it and um, all the best.